Hi, Sagittarius. This is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning back in or welcome if you're new here. So we are going to go ahead and do your reading. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. You can also check out your North Node or your Jupiter placement as well if you want to. And we're going to see here what messages you need to hear, what general energies are coming in for you, um, Sagittarius, and what you need to know in terms of guidance and anything that Spirit has for you. So just take what resonates, just take what fits with you. If you do want to book a private reading, I have my details down below. I don't offer them anywhere else, just so you know, to be aware of any uh, potential scams. It's only down below. I also have my Etsy shop down below if you'd like to browse my Oracle decks. Okay, so let's see here. So Spirit Guides, please tune me in to the energy for Sagittarius sun moon rising north node jupiter anybody tapping in here tuning into this reading what do you need to hear there's also going to be an extended version to this reading and we're going to go into some charms in the extended and i'll show you this little charm cloth we're going to use uh there's like different sections here so we're going to drop some charms it's been really interesting i did it for uh, the other two signs I've done so far. So it's really interesting. Um, and we'll clarify further kind of different areas of your life, different sections of your life and, and um, uh, get some more details for you. Okay. So let's see. So spirit guides, what are the messages right now for Sagittarius? What are the messages right now for Sagittarius? We have the two of cups. Okay. So two of cups it says here falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the ending of challenges, exchanging gifts. Don't give up on people you love. I'm hearing, please hear me out or something about, please listen to me or please hear me out. So some of you, this could be about a love connection. Somebody could want to, um, maybe uh, message you or to have a conversation with you or there's going to be a mending when it comes to connection or relationship for you Sagittarius and I feel like this is something that you um, let's see tell us a little bit more about the two of cups for Sagittarius We have the magician. Wow, so very powerful energy is coming up here for you so far. Um, let's see, Spirit, tell us about the magician, the two of cups. Yeah, it's like there's a breath of fresh air I'm hearing. There's a feeling of opening a door or having a breath of fresh air. Uh, and I do feel like this is going to be, again, in regards to a uh, connection, a relationship. And um, could be a friendship, could be a family member. It doesn't have to be just romantic, but I'm getting an open window here. And it says magic is alive in your life. What you need to be success will manifest. If you believe it, you can do it. So it could be a business partnership. It could be, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter what type of relationship. Let's see, Spirit, what, is, what type of relationship is this here for Sagittarius? Yeah, so it feels like a spark. It does feel like a spark here. Uh, it, again, it's going to depend on what it is for you. But it feels like it's something that's kind of guided, I feel, um, into your life. Let's see. Tell us a little bit more for Sagittarius. I'm hearing that song. Uh, is it by Ariana Grande? What is it? Um, I think it's Positions. But there's something about having to kind of uh, move through obstacles to get to this point. Yes, we have renewal, which is judgment. So again, lots of pretty powerful cards here. We have reviewing the past with compassion and forgiveness. Time to head into a new direction. Clarity on your life purpose. In your heart, you know what to do. Okay, so I feel like there's some change happening as well. So let's get a little bit of confirmation 
to confirm what else we have. So what else for Sagittarius? We have justice. Yes, justice. Um, yeah, I'm hearing making wrongs right or things are being made right. So again, I do think this could be in a relationship, but just apply it how it's going to be for you. Um, it seems like there's going to be with the renewal here. I'm being shown that this is where there's a, almost like a calling from the divine or a calling from above that's going to bring uh, two people either together or bring things into balance, bring, you know, harmony in a connection, bring harmony in a family dynamic. There's just a feeling of kind of like being able to take the reins almost with the magician uh, or not even the reins, just being able to sort of bring through um, something is being kind of brought down is what I keep being shown here in terms of it coming into justice, balance, uh, and maybe even mistakes of the past being made right, things being put into place uh, correctly as they should. Um, anything else, Spirit, about this justice card? Yeah, it's very much about wisdom right now that you're gaining. Uh, and also lessons from the past, like this judgment card here too, have been uh, in progress and in, in process for a while. And it's like we're applying the lessons from the past into where we're going in the future. Okay. And so I feel like this is going to be a, a, an opportunity for a fresh start um, and to really learn from where we've come from in the past and to make things better or to, um, you know, like, like uh, kind of review our past and to make those changes accordingly um, to bring in something fresh and kind of like that open window where we can breathe in the air breathe in the fresh air and come to this justice is there anything else spirit about this two of cups though what what is with the two of cups here again Hmm. Yeah, something that you've been waiting for or waiting on. Let's see. Anything else for Sagittarius? We have shelter. What is this? Shelter. Yeah, I'm getting things are shifting here or things have shifted into, how should I say, it's kind of like there's been a shift of events here or there's going to be a shift of events in your life that is very much has been protected for you or protected from you in a way. It's like the, it's almost like, um, The circumstances have not been aligned until where we're going. I hope that makes sense. It's like the, the circumstances here are aligning, but there's been changes that have had to happen. So if you've been experiencing changes here, Sagittarius recently, or things have been kind of not stable, it's like this is in an effort to right now what's happening is to move in towards more stability, move in towards more groundedness. And this is where justice comes in. So what's coming in then for you? What's coming in next for Sagittarius? We have greed. What is this? What is coming in next for Sagittarius? And we have beauty. I feel many of you are going to be in a better place. Like I said, with the shelter card, it's like you're moving into a time where you um, are seeing something clearly or you are um, uh, 
how should I word this? Um, it's kind of like you are, I suppose you're, you're in a better place. You're protected here and whatever these, the, the energy maybe that has been unjust in your life, I feel is not going to be affecting you here. It's like something is being made right, or you are taking it upon yourself to make something right in your life or to uh, kind of balance something in your life and to almost like preserve and shelter your own beauty. Uh, not like maybe physical beauty. I mean, it could be, but it's like the, the purity or the beauty of the self here sort of preserving this um, in many different kind of ways. What's coming in here for Sagittarius next? Yeah, I'm hearing selfish, selfish intentions. So that could be where, yes, exactly, the Empress in reverse. So this is where something has taken away from your beauty or your groundedness or your abundance or your just sense of being, you know, the Empress is very abundant, very fertile, very grounded, very loving, compassionate, and we have release in reverse. So what I feel is happening is that this is where, you know, again, there's been things that have had to be released from your life. Um, and I think that there's a feeling more so of having more clarity upon this. But Spirit, why is the Tell me about the Two of Cups again. The Page of Pentacles, the Emperor in Reverse. So for some of you, this could be a person who, again, is coming through to offer something to you or wants to have maybe a conversation with you. Uh, I'm getting maybe a specific storyline here that this has to do with a counterpart connection or someone, we have the Emperor and the Empress, and they're both showing up in reverse. Um, but maybe there's been somebody who has not really been all in with you or who has not appreciated you. And so it's like, I feel that's where justice is taking care of whatever has been unbalanced in this dynamic or in this connection. Um, I do feel like with this page of pentacles, it seems like it is, um, what is the outcome of this page of pentacles? This, this offer. Because remember I said, it's like there's been hurdles to cross. Five of Swords reversed. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. There's been there's been a, a, a hurdle to cross here or an obstacle in regards to a connection, friendship, relationship, family member. Um, and I feel that it's more so about you protecting yourself here. I don't know. It's kind of like I feel the universe is, is um, giving you the shelter here. So I think it's kind of in your hands. Else is coming in here for Sagittarius. We have the seventh house partner. So yeah, it's definitely about partnerships. It's definitely about connections, relationships for you here. I just feel, tell me the advice for the viewer. What is the advice for the viewer? Justice reversed. Wow. We have justice and then we have justice reversed. Exactly. Uh, Ten of swords here. So what I would say to kind of summarize this reading is that it feels like at some point here, there's been an injustice or an imbalance here in regards to a, maybe a painful uh, ending or painful situation, a painful relationship here, maybe involving two people who are you know, counterparts or two people who are married even. There could be a marriage or long-term partnership here. And I think what's what's shifting and what's happening here is that there's an opportunity to bring things into judgment day or to bring things into balance, to bring things into uh, a decision being made or being able to at least come to um, compromise or come to a resolution here. And that could be depending on what you decide to do or, you know, what, but I do feel like there's been 
uh, this per person maybe who has been greedy or selfish or you feel like you've been taken advantage of in some way and I think with the beauty this is where spirit is is kind of telling you that you are having to come to a decision within a situation around you with this person perhaps or you are receiving the justice that you deserve so you could receive maybe this person coming through to have a conversation or to offer something to you or for some it could even be a new offer a new person a friendship maybe that's building which is going to bring you what you need after going through another painful maybe situation from the past is what i'm getting so i think um that's what i'm getting here is there anything else with this judgment card for sagittarius Yeah, it's like there's a letting go of a of a resistance, of a push and pull. It's almost like a tug of war. And then we're able to let that go. We're able to find a way to um, release that resistance, that tug of war. So that's going to be where this, um, it's like if you imagine kind of a dark cloud around it and you're able to release that cloud, maybe that means walking away. Maybe that means just being protected and protecting yourself because there has been somebody here or a situation that's been sort of taking instead of giving enough um and i think uh yeah there's more equilibrium being brought into your partnerships which like i said could go with a new partnership or it could be that there's a resolution here but it's like there's a breath of fresh air that you're going to be feeling because you either make the right decision for you or because you receive an offer or receive something that's going to bring you into feeling like you can breathe a sigh of relief. You can let go of this pain. Okay, so final advice for you, Sagittarius. We have Scorpio, I transform. Yes. So this is a, a, a pretty deep transformation for you. What's the advice? Yeah, some of you are going to have to kind of almost take this stinger with the Scorpio and say what's necessary or do what's necessary for you. You know, and that, that's where the transformation comes in or even the truths that are being spoken. I am getting a, uh, an angel here, protection around you. And I do believe that's where the protection has come in or the shelter. It's like you are being, uh, and the judgment card is Archangel Gabriel as well. So I feel like there's a level of protection currently around you. Yes, the Queen of Swords, definitely. I think that you're going to be protecting yourself uh, because of this situation or you've been protecting yourself. Um, and it's like the divine also is coming through to protect you. But the, the energy that you're moving into with the beauty is really recognizing and knowing your true worth and value and being able to to balance that and being able to kind of take that sword even if you need to and the magician as well to take a sword of almost like you know a wand of manifestation and to sort of be able to kind of um uh like click it into place or to bring it something into fruition bring truth down bring your desires down in a way that's very balanced very decisive and very discerning um and that's the advice for you as well it says here brilliant experienced humorous judgmental releasing situations or people that no longer serve you seeing the humor in difficult situations focusing on career divorced or unmarried individuals um, so i'm seeing that with the scorpio here too perhaps having to release okay or at least having to release within your own mind here any injustices any um overthinking or pains of the of the past here and instead using the pain to alchemize and to take that wand with the magician and to bring it into something better for you okay so I'm going to go over to the extended and we'll look at your charms. We'll look at some more details for you and see which areas of your life and what's coming in for you. So thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you um, enjoyed the reading and I will see you next time. Lots of love.